Help a brother out. It's your favorite comedian, Elon Rich, and I got a lot to say about the news today. They knew about it. They knew about it this whole time and didn't tell anybody. Why didn't anybody tell me that canned asparagus tastes like That's not what I'm talking about today. I'm talking about NBC. Apparently in 2008, Matt Lawler, 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 Lurler, who's recently been fired from them, in 2008, they held what is infamously known in the media elite as the roast of Matt Lawler. It took place in October of 2008, possibly around Halloween. This took place at the New York Hilton Hotel with numerous celebrities there, even the now president, Donald Trump, Tom Cruise, Howard Stern, Nancy O'Donnell, Creep, 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 other creeps, Brian Williams. Do you even know who Brian Williams is? Because I don't. Even Martha Stewart's gangsta ass was there. This was all reported on by some secret sources. One of the people attending was NBC's own Joe Scarborough, who said he left early because he got a little uncomfortable. I couldn't imagine how all this sexual harassment and sexual allegations and homophobia and sexist and racist jokes, how could that be uncomfortable? I'm gonna let you know some of the jokes that went down there. Martha Stewart's gangsta ass joke that she said, I heard they call Matt the cock of the rock. I'm pretty sure a certain wrestler would probably have a problem with that. Nope, looking at that bald ass head, I think I see what they mean. Another speaker there was actually now CNN's worldwide president, Jeff Zucker, who was then the owner of NBC Universal. What is happening at 8 o'clock? who last week actually denied having any idea of what Matt was doing. As you can tell, these people are some lying mother <laughs> As much as he might be a liar, his might be one of the funniest jokes there. He said, it's great to see Matt here and not under my desk. Saying that Matt is one of the biggest germaphobes that he actually uses hand sanitizer after and before he masturbates. I'm sorry, but that was funny to me. Jeff Zucker even mentioned about some of the marital problems that Matt has had. Said that he was sleeping on Brian Gumbel's couch. Brian Gumbel, who used to host the Today Show, is black. But he said, what's more boring than that? Two white men sitting watching golf. I'm sorry, but Brian Gumbel is the whitest black dude in the world. I think this is my favorite roaster. Supposedly, Al Roker of the Today Show was the roast master. Can you imagine this? I'd like to welcome everybody to the roast. Thanks for coming. I'm glad you're here. I know you're wondering. You're like, where is the meat? This is actually not a pot roast. Ha, ha, ha. Tom Cruise, who actually has a feud with Lawler about the whole Scientology thing, supposedly was there. One of the most interesting though was one of them, Meredith, made a joke about Matt f***ing Al Roker in the ass. I can't make it up. This supposedly going down during the Turin Olympics in 2006, as if ice skating wasn't gay enough. Katie Couric came up next and she did a top 10 facts about Matt. Supposedly number 10 was that his wife admitted that he wasn't an early riser. I'm gonna guess this is a morning wood joke or something like that. Or he just never got up before 12 p.m. Knowing that he did the Today Show, we know which one it is. Skipping ahead, number two was that he likes to eat curry. Now I know what you're thinking. Indian food is delicious. But we ain't talking about Indian food. We are talking about his co-worker and curry. And so you know I didn't come up with that Indian Food joke. Katie Kirk did it. K Katie Kirk did it. Uh, Kate. Katie Kirk did it. Uh. And supposedly Jeff Ross was there. How the f does Jeff Ross just find all of these roasts? He's like a professional roast stir. It's like they just call him anytime there's just any kind of roast happening. If you watch a roast and Jeff Ross isn't there, it ain't a roast. Jeff Ross made jokes, supposedly racist jokes, about how Roker 
being used as a coffee table, which is funny to me because he's brown. Gilbert Godfrey was there. Why? Gilbert Godfrey made Asian sex jokes about Ann Curry. I guess, I guess that's funny. I mean, if Gilbert Godfrey said it, I'm pretty sure it was funny. Then we got down to the most cringeworthy, creepy, weird part of the night. When Matt got to talk. Matt got up there and said, let's just say I've seen that colon a lot more before you did. What the f is I know it's an anal sex joke, but colon? Like that? Ugh. You you saw that colon a lot more? I don't wanna know what that means. Like like literally, I don't wanna know what that means. I know what it means sexually and like figuratively, but I don't want to know what that really means. And then he said, what's with all the small dick jokes? He looked over and saw Ann Curry laughing and he said, she knows how big his dick is. So as you can see, his little escapades of sexual harassment and all this and groping and being creepy with his words were known. It wasn't like something that's new. It's just now, sexual harassment is not in style. I mean, you had Katie Couric, Meredith Vieira, and Jeff Zucker all joking about it. They knew. They all knew about it. Bush did 9-11. <laughs> that was a little far. Have you ever seen the interview with him and Sandra Bullock. Major thing that's okay. changed since you were here last? I have now seen you naked. Are you looking down? It's now my screensaver. <laughs> you're naked for most of this movie. Betty White is in this movie. Well, naked also for most of the movie. Yeah, Did naked. I mention you have a nude scene? It is clear that he was a creep. It was never in anybody's, it, it was never in doubt that he wasn't a creep. It's just nobody watches the Today Show that has a job. Or the Today Show is just on at a bar at a really low volume and you don't even know what they're saying. The question is, how deep does this go? How long have they known about it? If this goes all the way back to 2008, these are jokes that were made from years before that. Let me know what you think in the comment section. How long do you think they've known about this? Why do you think they are just now deciding to make this a big deal? If you like this video or any of my videos, hit the like button, share on Facebook, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and most importantly, stop doing people at the workplace. You know, you just can't be grabbing ass in the green room. Peace. Now look at you walking in here looking all pretty and angry and mean and good. <laughs> I know you didn't get your head down so you could just sit down and just sit still. Hey, we trying to have a good time tonight. Let's go, baby. Let's go.